Sadhguru has been taking up this as his mission, mission with passion for the nation, not giving any remission or doing any omission. And we must all catch up that passion, not as a passion, but as a passion. Yoga is not because of Modi. It is for your body. You have to understand yoga is an exercise. <laughs> we are facing a lot of challenges, vociferous tendencies, separatist forces, violent forces. And we should not be silent spectators. We should assert ourselves. Assert ourselves. Assert ourselves. And we should take everyone with us. And we should all move collectively to fight these evils within ourselves and also outside. Here I am asking Kavad Arnav Goswami. What is required is a saner voice, not louder noise. <laughs> Yoga also teaches self-control, which is lacking in some people in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga was there, is there, and will have to be there. All of us in our life must practice, promote yoga for our betterment. One boy told me, sir, yoga is good, but I have a problem. I said, what is your problem? He said, yoga means Surya Namaskara. I said, I understand. Then I told him, in simple terms, if you have any problem with Surya Namaskara, do Chandra Namaskara. No problem. <laughs> It is not just people on the spiritual path who are down to Adi Yogi. It is because of Yoga's scientific basis and effectiveness that the United Nations have included Yoga in its roadmap to achieve the sustainable development goals. I am happy that the Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi has taken initiative to take it up the United Nations. And the United Nations have approved it and worldwide now Yoga is catching up. Thanks to the initiative of the Prime Minister, but thanks to the efforts of her, like Sadhguru Vasudevdi and many more. The yoga is catching up, it must catch up further. Yoga is not a political activity. We should not see it from the political prism or religious prism. This huge enthusiasm for yoga and spirituality is because of the methods. Do not need any faith or belief. This is a science. If you just apply, it in your life. Apply in your life, you will get reply. It will work wonderfully. The great art and science of yoga, believed to have descended from the Adi Yogi Shiva, is gaining popularity. Yoga brings not only health, but inner peace and joy too. Health is very important. More than wealth. If you are healthy, then you can become wealthy. If you are wealthy, there is no guarantee that you can become healthy. <laughs> India, once upon a time, was known as Vishwa Guru. Students from across the globe used to come to Naranda, Takshasila, Pushmagiri, Vikramsila, used to study here. This is not what I am saying. Yuan Song, Pahian, Chinese historians, they came and they wrote about India. India was once upon a time a rich nation, Viswaguru. But India never, never, never attacked any country. Go through the history. The others, all small, 
big. They came, they ruled us, they ruined us, they looted us, they cheated us, cheated some of our minds also. We must come out of that colonial mindset. We must feel proud of our heritage, our heritage, our culture, our tradition. And we must stand by that culture and to live harmoniously with all. That is the way forward. Worldwide, there is respect for Indian culture, Indian civilization because it's age old and it always preaches universal brotherhood or sisterhood. Guru mane jnan dene wale hai, san marg batane wale, sat pravartana dikhane wale, sat buddhi dene wale guru hai. Aisa sat guru hamara beech mein hai. Sat guru se prerana lekar hamara jeevan sudar ne ke liye prayas karna chahi. There is no parallel. It's all the great efforts of this great man, the great sage, modern sage, Rishi, that this is happening. We need more such gurus who reach out to common people and communicate with them in a language easily understood by all and guide them. We have to be creative. We have to be constructive, not obstructive or destructive or restrictive. We must all be constructive. And here is a person who is giving such thoughts to us. And we must all join the forces of growth, forces of welfare, forces of brotherhood. And see to it that we all live in harmony and in prosperity. So that's why I call upon the people, love and live with the nature. Nature, culture, together for better future. That is the advice I want to give to people on this occasion.